These are the best NVIDIA control panel settings for maximum FPS and the least amount of input lag. In the first place, go and adjust image settings with preview. Make sure that you use the advanced 3D settings is enabled and then click under take me there. And in here now, guys, I'm about to show you the best NVIDIA control panel settings which you have to apply. Image scaling, please turn off, guys. This one works horrible for CS2. Ambient occlusion leave on off. When it comes down to anti-strophic filtering or anti-aliasing, everything besides anti-aliasing gamma correction has to be off, guys, yeah? Gamma correction is the only one which really makes sense because it's lightning and CS2, so therefore keep it on on. Anti-aliasing transparency as well off. Background application maximum frame rate is kind of interesting because let's just say as an example that you have maybe Google Chrome running in the background, you can actually limit it to 20 FPS, which might give you a slight performance increase if you may be listening to music in the background or some stuff like that. CUDA GPUs only really matters if you actually have multiple GPUs in your PC or better set an onboard GPU. DSR factors leave on off. And the first important one, guys, is the low latency mode. So many pros, ROPS, Simple, and many more are utilizing it on Honor Ultra either, guys. You gotta figure out for yourself which one feels better. For me, I gotta say, after years of CSGO, actually Ultra feels a lot smoother. Then under maximum frame rate, guys, you actually wanna turn this one off if you have a decent PC build. Because as an example, even if you're playing maybe on 240, 360 hertz, having 5 to 600, 700 FPS in CS2 is actually still gonna benefit you. Because with higher FPS, you actually reduce the time between single pictures, which is still gonna give you less input lag. So therefore, make sure to have this one actually on off. But if you, on the other hand, have a budget build, guys, you should definitely cap it a little bit higher than your maximum refresh rate so that you can actually avoid thermal throttling of your PC. Then multi-frame, sample AA, you're gonna leave on off. OpenGL, you leave on auto. Power management mode, you gotta put to preferred maximum performance. Preferred refresh rate, you gotta put actually here, guys, to the highest available. This one is super important. You wanna utilize the maximum refresh rate of your monitor 24-7. Share the cache size. This one, so many people have on driver default, but actually, guys, keep it on 10 gigs. This is a very specific reason. Share the cache files get created to basically speed up processes on your PC, something like loading CS maps. But sometimes these files are interrupted and can actually cause FPS drops or stutter. So therefore put it to 10 gigs so it actually gets refreshed after every 10 gigs. Texture filtering and dystrophic optimization you're gonna leave on on. This actually helps you to preload maps before you actually hop in game. Now texture filtering LOD bias, leave on allow guys. A lot of people have it on clamp but actually leave it on allow here. Texture filtering quality, of course high performance guys. We don't really care about how our game looks like. We just want the highest FPS. Texture filtering totally now optimization on on. Now for threaded optimization guys, this one here you should definitely turn on on if you have actually a CPU with four threads or more even. If you have a dual core PC, turn it to off. Triple buffering on off. Vertical sync only makes sense if you're playing on 60 to 75 hertz. Then it can maybe actually help you to reduce motion blur. But besides that, but if you're on anything higher, keep it on off. And virtual reality, leave on the default one. The same with Vulkan OpenGL. Then we gotta go over to change resolution, guys. And so many people, for whatever reason, have it on Ultra HD and they wonder why can't I not select the maximum refresh rate of my monitor? Well, you actually gotta scroll down here a little bit, guys, until you see PC resolutions and then you can put it to 144, 240, 360. Then go under adjust desktop color settings and just a quick tip guys, my digital vibrance I always like to keep here on around 75%. This one looks the best in my opinion. And the same as well with adjust video color settings where I put my saturation all the way up to 75% as well guys. This is going to make your CS2 look so much more colorful and more vibrant and it's just gonna overall feel amazing to actually play it guys. Now just simply hit apply and you're already good to go.